Good afternoon. Last night we had a great night. We headed down into Belfast City Centre down to the Opera House and we had been given um, two tickets to see the Jersey Boys. Now I hadn't a clue what it was about uh, but it turns out that it's a musical um, story narrative based on the story of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. And if you're into music, if you're into dancing, if you're into uh, nostalgic uh, musical memories of the 60s and 70s and 80s, this um, musical extravaganza is not to be missed. And unfortunately, uh, the run down at the Opera House is uh, drawing to a close. The Jersey Boys run in Belfast finishes on the 22nd, which is Sunday night. So Sunday night, if you haven't got your tickets, they're probably all taken. Uh, two nights more of a run in Belfast. You might be able to pick up uh, tickets for the Dublin show um, and then the Jersey Boys musical moves across to mainland UK where it runs for um, over eight different dates in eight different cities. Um, it's a fantastic show, no question about it. Um, tickets are quite expensive. We paid or we didn't pay because we got the tickets as a Christmas box um, but each ticket that we had was £52.50, so that's not cheap. But uh, for what you're getting, value for money, uh, <laughs> um, you know, and a Christmas box at that, um, we thought it was good. Jersey Boys, the musical, documents the story, the rise to fame and the falls and the highs and lows of the four original members of the Jersey Boys and Frankie Valley was the one to front them in the uh, latter half of their successful years so um, this this just this musical is just full of activity and color and songs and dancing and it's well scripted and uh, you know the the uh, props are moved on and off the stage uh, in the blink of an eye and it's uh, uh, funny and it's uh, sad and it is fantastic this uh, show is just packed full of songs that you might remember This show is just packed full of songs that you might remember. Um, it certainly was it's like, a, you know, the backdrop of my life. So we're talking about um, Four Seasons songs and they were all written by this fella. He was one of the Four Seasons, Bob Gardio. And it has Sherry. It has Big Girls Don't Cry. Walk like a man, my boyfriend's back, my eyes adored her, you, dawn, go away, stay, let's hang on, bye bye baby, goodbye, that uh, became a Bay City Rollers so, uh, song, uh, come on Mary Ann, can't take my eyes off you, working my way back to you, rag doll, uh, just the, the amount of, of uh, chart topping hits that these boys produced was just phenomenal and in recognition of that they were um, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990 and uh, the musical itself uh, has been acclaimed um, 2006 it uh, won four Tony Awards including Best Musical 2009 it won the Laurence Olivier Award for Best Musical and if you have a chance, if this ever comes back to Belfast in any shape or form, don't miss it. And um, 
for folks watching this in England, um, find out where the dates of this are, where it's going to be on, and uh, get to it. It is brilliant. Um, a few of the group actually are still alive, would you, would you believe? One's 90, and uh, I think one's 73, and one's 84. And Frankie Valley is the one who's 84, and he's still on the road. Unbelievably, he's still on the road. Where does he get the energy? This man has an amazing voice. But it's not just him. It's the way the, the four members of the group uh, sing together. The, the harmonies are just absolutely fabulous. And you don't get that in uh, modern uh, pop songs or, or anything like it, you know. These are classics of the pop world. And they're worth listening to. So, um, my review, uh, very, very positive. And, uh, you know, I, I would, I'm glad we went. I'm glad somebody paid for our tickets as well. Uh, brilliant, brilliant show. See it if you can.